Well, it's Cujo 1989 here, folks. It's been a been a quick minute here. Yeah, enjoying the lovely, lovely new update of uh, World of Tanks here. Basically, haven't played it at all much for oh the first month and a half or so that it came out. But now that they've got most of the updates in, uh, the game is uh, we'll just summarize in a generally playable state. Uh, never mind the awesome next-gen graphics or the fucking rip-off Jurassic Park fucking tech tree bullshit. <sighs> That's still unfucking usable Good luck finding a fucking premium tank you want specifically. I mean, really, here. <laughs> if they wanted you to commit to longer engagement times in playing this game, they sure as fuck did it there. Okay, oh, uh, well, yeah, that economy's in a dumpster fire, so they gotta end up in endlessly giving out fucking silver boosters and special silver earning events, especially this current weekend, you know, with the tier 10s out there rampaging around, so if you wanna play anything fucking tier 8 or higher, you're. Well, uh, you're. Just bend over. Yeah. <laughs> And we won't touch on the broken accuracy, broken camo, or the fact that they fucked so many people into the ground on all their high skill crews that they committed years and hours and hours of effort into and just fucked it into the ground. But hey, they compensated you, so that was fair. On the plus side, we finally have worked past most of the uh, gold glitches and bugs, thankfully, although the garage is still pretty shit. And you ever get annoyed that you have to deselect your fucking tank so you can keep looking at the thing while it turns magically on the fucking giant's causeway in the background? I do once in a while! Uh, whatever. So we finally got some of the UI updates and overhauls. We can finally set the map. We can finally set our colors. I put the information for the tanks over the tanks, which it's still not, it's not as easy to read as it used to be, but hey, we're making a little bit of progress there. I'm annoyed by the ammunition counts, because the only way to know how much of each shell type you have is if you select that fucking thing. The only way to do that is to reload that. That's kind of annoying. Uh, the whole, well, yeah, yeah, the whole information over the tanks thing is addressed, the whole corner detail fucking card thing you had to try to find and look at mid battle. Uh, hmm. Well, they've certainly improved the game from its initial launch on 6.0. There have been, there's been progress made to where myself and Derpity can find ourselves actually playing this game occasionally, and, yeah. At least this next season they came out with currently isn't complete shit, and it's not Barbie-themed or Transformers, so... Hey, we moved in the right direction, finally. I think they might have finally sunk in and said, Oh, we gotta tone the shit down. They're all fucking running. <laughs> ah! Overall, I'd say the game's in an okay state for basic playing, but... It's, eh. There's still that general sensation of betrayal and all the bullshit that came with it, and eh, they fucked with us pretty badly. And yes, I am saying fuck a lot because, oh, fuck, yes, I am, because I'm the fucking sweary guy. Ah, yeah, that pretty much covers it all, just having fun. And Oh, to any of you out there, you know, you ever want to meet up with any of the original OG players, the prior 6.0, you know, never mind these new generation kiddies that have come in, the new fresh player base that was going to rejuvenate the game, you know, since the standards of gameplay went right down the fucking toilet. Just remember, you still got one tiers 1 and 2, so if you got your premiums or you had that opportunity to buy them up before they all fucking flew the coop, well, you can always run to some of the old people there, and ironically, you're seeing some oddly, highly skilled Tier 1 and 2 gameplay. It's not the old run forward and slaughter and suicide. There's actually strategy going on at those tiers. Kind of fucking creepy to say that, but hey, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's about all I got on this little psycho rant of mine here for the last couple of minutes. I'll turn it over to you, Derp, so you can do your shit. Okie dokie. All right, now it's my turn to speak, and honestly, I'm still very strong against this game because, you know, with the 6.0 and they're taking away all their perks, they fucked us all over, right? So right now for me, I'm in a current state where the game is somewhat playable, like Kujo said, but it's also not really... Like, it's somewhat playable, but you just can't play it for a long period of time. Um... Having said that, this UI is still pretty much awful. I mean, um, the they added the feature where you can put the map in the lower right again, which is great, but at the same time, you're still dealing with having to look at the top left to see the full, like, actual health, the hit, uh, hit points of your enemy. So, like, whereas previously you'd have, like, all those numbers right there above in that health bar, and that's what I want. I want to see that because I don't care about what modules are damaged. 
really that much sometimes, but I want to know what exact health are they at so I know, like, if I have, like, a 490 alpha gun, if I can, you know, pen them in there at sitting at, like, 332, you know, stuff like that. So I want to try and... I think the game needs more focus on the small aspects like that where, like, you don't need to take your eyes off the enemy or your target in order to tell certain aspects of them. Um, from 6.0 day one to 6.0 now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the, I'm liking the progress. Uh, they got rid of the, like, the kind of, like, dreary kind of War Thunder look, and they got some of the original color back, even though it's still kind of, kind of blurry and everything like that. And it's, it's not my thing. I feel like this is a severe downgrade in, like, the processing power for World of Tanks, so... And this is supposed to be the next-gen upgrade. And if there's no good gra... Like, per se, like, if everything looks blurry, then the graphics don't look good. So it's hard to believe that this update is supposed to be the next generation of consoles for me. Because they had something really good going, you know. I was... loving the aesthetic of the previous 4.8 onto um, 6.0, but honestly, what I feel like the most needed done was we needed a new sound overhaul, and that's that's something that I always wanted for a long time, but I didn't want this whole fucking UI. You know, I was okay with the small things here and there, but the the sound overhaul is what I wanted, and I got it technically. It's just that it was packaged with a bunch of shit. Um, I'm not going to touch up on accuracy. Stuff's broken and everything like that. Map rotation. Oh, dear fucking God. The map rotation is something akin to a kid who only eats chicken nuggets. Okay? Yeah, they can go to multiple restaurants, but they'll, like, have, like, multiple chicken nuggets of, like, different ethnicities, apparently, I guess. I don't know. But <laughs> it's... There's not much choice. And it all feels the same. And, yeah, you can tell some variations of some fucking maps, you know. Sunset Coast. Fuck Sunset Coast. So. But, um... Honestly... Where I want this game to go is I want this game to get better, right? And, yeah, I I love this game. I loved this game back when, you know, before 6.0. But now it's kind of like it's not there for me again, you know? I feel like there has to be something that specifically caters to me for me to come back, right? And I'll still play here and there, but I'm not going to dedicate, you know, like the six to seven hours a day you know, that I used to put in, you know, prior to 6.0. So, right now, I'm on, and I play maybe, like, maybe, like, two, three days a week for, like, one or two hours, and I eventually get a headache at this. So, my thing is, I want it to get better, and I want it to be there. But, at the same time, I don't know how to feel about the betrayal that wargaming has kind of put upon the player base and everything like that i still stalk the reddit and a lot of people that are like the mods their biggest name out there is desert storm desert storm he um he decided to go on hiatus he decided to not entirely give up this game but he's lost interest in it and for some people who aren't aware of the reddit and some people who aren't you know that into the community of everything desert storm is one of the oldest players in the game and he for him someone essentially a prophet to just essentially leave it's it's shattering for the community and nowadays the reddit is nothing but dead memes and literally people who create accounts within the 48 hours and then ask the questions that are simply easy answered like you know what happens if i own a tank that i or what happens if i get say the paladin from the free paladin or an op and i already have the paladin you know stuff like that and it's flooded with these questions you know there hasn't been a good post in a while on that reddit because 
nobody's there. Nobody is interested in it. So the community is slowly still dying out. And even though some numbers may be increasing, such as the people following the World of Tanks page, it's still we're still not going to have a lot of player retention with this game. And that's another thing I want to point out. Player retention. Okay? With player retention, they have these people coming in basically brand new, and they're giving out free shit. So basically, they're forcing player retention right now by giving you a bunch of free shit. Okay, so the season pass, you get the Object 777, the King Tiger, and the M48 120mm. And all of them, basically, you get for free. All you have to do is spend 2,000 gold. And then you get your money's worth back. So basically, they're giving all these tier 9s, 10s, and even an 8 for free. Same thing with the Paladin. They did the same thing with the Draugen, and it's it shows no signs of stopping. If you are somebody who played this game pre-4.8, or pre-6.0, sorry, <laughs> pre-6.0, and you are abusing these, sis, these season passes, you are ultimately profiting in this game. Because you're getting a bunch of free shit, and if you have these tanks already, you're getting the silver or gold equivalent. You're getting a bunch of shit for free. So you're reaping the rewards, and people who don't know how to play, they're getting these tanks that, you know, usually you're not supposed to get until, like, later in the game. And they don't know how to play. So you'll have people that are, like, driving around in circles with A44s and there's mysteriously bouncing shots. Or, you know, they're just auto-aiming and kind of driving around in circles, overexposing their tank and basically throwing themselves away. It's, it's the quality of life in the matches that is ultimately fallen off the rail here. And Wargaming's directly to blame for that because they give out these free tanks no matter what. So... But right now, Wargaming needs to stop giving away free shit. They need to fucking do some serious quality of life, and they need to listen to some community members. Because no matter how many times, like, the community mods will reach out to the community liaison, um, nothing goes through. There's been polls where, like, 93% of them says, hey, yeah, go back to... Go back to 4.8. You know, some people were willing to reaccept Hot Wheels again. Right. Going on Kuja's point where, like, yeah, Hot Wheels was kind of a sellout, or it felt like a sellout, but at the same time, we still had a very playable game, a very fun game, you know, that could be broken. And now they made it something that's more akin to a modern generation game and something that genuinely like it's trying too hard and that's why i haven't really been playing this game so well that's gonna wrap up my feelings really for it i mean yeah there are some things that are good some things that i wanted to see some things that i didn't see but ultimately it's up to the, you as an individual what you think of the game i'm probably gonna play here and there but not anymore not until I see some change that I actually like. And I'll still be stalking the Reddit. You can follow me on Reddit, u slash derp derp derp. Check that down in the description. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like on the uh, video. And uh, subscribe. And we will talk to you guys next time.